This might be my most favorite story of all the Naughty Little Sister stories. It's called My Naughty Little Sister at the Party. My Naughty Little Sister at the Party by Dorothy Edwards, illustrated by Shirley Hughes. You wouldn't think that there could be another child as naughty as my naughty little sister, would you? But there was. There was a thoroughly bad boy who was my naughty little sister's best boyfriend, and this boy's name was Harry. This bad Harry and my naughty little sister used to play together quite a lot in Harry's garden, or in our garden, and got up to dreadful mischief between them picking all the baby gooseberries and the green black currants and throwing sand on the flower beds and digging up the runner bean seeds and all the naughty sorts of things you n never, never do in the garden. Now one day this Bad Harry's birthday was near and Bad Harry's mother said he could have a birthday party and invite lots of children to tea. So Bad Harry came round to our house with a pretty card in an envelope for my naughty little sister. And this card was an invitation asking my naughty little sister to come to the birthday party. Bad Harry told my naughty little sister that there would be a lovely tea with jellies and sandwiches and birthday cake. And my naughty little sister said, jolly good. And every time she thought about the party, she said, nice tea and birthday cake. Wasn't she greedy? And when the party day came, she didn't make any fuss when my mother dressed her in her new green party dress and her green party shoes and her green hair ribbon. And she didn't fidget and she didn't wriggle her head about when she was having her hair combed. She kept still as still because she was so pleased to think about the party. And when my mother said, now, what must you say at the party? My naughty little sister said, I must say, nice tea. But my mother said, no, no, that would be greedy thing to say. You must say, please, and thank you, like a good, polite child at tea time, and say, thank you very much for having me when the party is over. And my naughty little sister said, All right, mother, I promise. So my mother took my naughty little sister to the party. And what do you think the silly little girl did as soon as she got there? She went up to Bad Harry's mother and she said very quickly, Please and thank you and thank you very much for having me all at once, just like that, before she forgot to be polite. And then she said, now may I have my lovely tea? Wasn't that rude and greedy? Bad Harry's mother said, I'm afraid you'll have to wait until all the other children are here, but Harry will show you the tea table if you like. Bad Harry looked very smart in a blue party suit with white socks and shoes and a real man's haircut. And he said, come on, I'll show you. So they went into the tea room and there was the birthday tea spread out on the table. Bad Harry's mother had made red jellies and yellow jellies and blancmanges and biscuits and sandwiches and cakes with cherries on and a big birthday cake with white icing on it and candles and happy birthday Harry written on it. My naughty little sister's eyes grew bigger and bigger and Bad Harry said, There's something else in the larder. It's going to be a surprise treat, but you shall see it because you are my best girlfriend. So Bad Harry took my naughty little sister out into the kitchen and they took chairs and climbed up to the larder shelf, which is a dangerous thing to do. And it would have been their own faults if they had fallen down. 
and Bad Harry showed my naughty little sister a lovely spongy trifle covered with creamy stuff and with silver balls and jelly sweets on top. And my naughty little sister stared more than ever because she liked spongy trifle better than jellies or blancmanges or biscuits or sandwiches or cakes with cherries on or even birthday cake. So she said, for me. Bad Harry said, for me too, because he likes spongy trifle best as well. Then Bad Harry's mother called to them and said, come along, the other children are arriving. So they went to say, how do you do to the other children? And then Bad Harry's mother said, I think we will have a few games now before tea, just until everyone has arrived. All the other children stood in a ring and Bad Harry's mother sang Ring of Roses first, I think. And all the nice party children said, oh, we like that. But my naughty little sister said, no ring of roses, nasty ring of roses, just like that, because she didn't like ring of roses very much. And Bad Harry said, silly game. So Bad Harry and my naughty little sister stood and watched the others. The other children sang beautifully too. They sang, ring of roses, roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. And they all fell down and laughed. But Harry and my naughty little sister didn't laugh. They got tired of watching and they went for a little walk. Do you know where they went to? Yes, to the larder to take another look at the spongy trifle. They climbed up onto the chairs to look at it really properly. It was very pretty. Ring a ring a roses, sang the good party children. Nice jelly sweets, said my naughty little sister. Nice silver balls. And she looked at that terribly bad Harry, and he looked at her. Take one, said the naughty boy. And my naughty little sister did take one. She took a red jelly sweet from the top of the trifle. And then Bad Harry took a green jelly sweet. And then my naughty little sister took a yellow jelly sweet and a silver ball. And then Bad Harry took three jelly sweets, red, green, and yellow, and six silver balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, and put them all in his mouth at once. Now, some of the creamy stuff had come off on Bad Harry's finger. And he liked it very much. So he put his finger into the creamy stuff on the trifle and took some of it off and ate it. And my naughty little sister ate some too. I'm sorry to have to tell you this because I feel so ashamed of them and expect you feel ashamed of them too. I hope you aren't too shocked to hear any more because do you know those two bad children forgot all about the party and the nice children all singing ring of roses they took a spoon each and scraped off the creamy stuff and ate it and then they began to eat the nice spongy inside bad harry said now we made the trifle look so untidy so no one else will want any so we might as well eat it all up so they dug away into the spongy trifle and found lots of nice fruit bits inside. It was a very big trifle, but those greedy children ate and ate. Then, just as they had nearly finished the whole big trifle, the ring of roses ing stopped and bad Harry's mother called, Where are you two? We are ready for tea. Then my naughty little sister was very frightened because she knew she had been very naughty and she looked at bad Harry and he knew he had been very naughty and they both felt terrible. Bad Harry had a creamy mess of trifle all over his face 
and even in his new real man's haircut and my naughty little sister had made her new green party dress all trifly. You know how it happens if you eat too quickly and greedily. It's tea time, said Bad Harry, and he looked at my naughty little sister. And my naughty little sister thought of the jellies and the cakes and the sandwiches and all the other things. And she felt very full of trifle. And she said, don't want any. And do you know what she did? Just as Bad Harry's mother came into the kitchen, my naughty little sister slipped out of the door and ran and ran all the way home. It was a good thing our home was only down the street and no roads to cross her. I don't know what would have happened to her. Bad Harry's mother was so cross when she saw the trifle that she sent Bad Harry straight to bed. And he had to stay there and hear all the nice children and enjoying themselves. I don't know what happened to him in the night, but I know my naughty little sister wasn't at all a well girl from having eaten so much trifle. And I also know that she doesn't like spongy trifle anymore. It's the countdown till summer. If you want to still get videos and go to Karen's camp, which is just getting videos from me, <laughs> be sure to follow the YouTube link to YouTube and then you can subscribe and click the bell and click the like button and then you'll get notifications because it's kind of hard to find my videos. I can't even find them unless I have the link. So that will help you. All right. See you next time.